There we go. So, hi, I'm Boating Brooke. I normally upload cosplay content, but, uh, fun fact about me I have Tourette's and I want to talk about a uh, subject I really don't see people talk about much. <laughs> and that is what to do if you have a tick attack on an airplane. <laughs> so I recently, like two weeks ago, had a trip to Rome and Athens. It was a lot of fun, but on the plane ride back, er, <laughs> I did have a tick attack. And that is something you just don't see. I'll probably put a clip up in editing, maybe right there. Let's see. So, the thing about it is, I was sort of, you know, there, there's a lot of panic to go through it because you just don't know what to do. Er, er, er. I do think I handled it pretty well, but I don't know if others have. Er, er. So I'm gonna tell you what happened to me and in hindsight what I should have requested. Er, er, er. So first off, how it happened. Er, hello. Er. Uh, my ticks are work because I'm talking about them. That's normal. Er, so, tick attacks are normally caused by stress. Er, uh, so, you know, flight anxiety. The flight's taken off, you're freaked out by that. I have misophonia, so people snacking on chips, Chewing gum, that didn't help at all. Er <laughs> so, what will I do? Er er <laughs> First off, my ticks were sort of destructive because I punch out with this hand when I'm stressed with my ticks. Er <laughs> or I'll have ticks where I hit my head. A lot harder than this, honestly. I, I you know, demonstrations are, <laughs> that's not good. So, er, er, I did not pack the padded gloves I like to wear when I'm in public. That was mistake number one. I highly recommend you get padded gloves if you have self-harm ticks, you know, tight, <laughs> er, and wear those any time you could possibly be in a stressful situation, er, er, um, they're normally called weightlifting gloves, er, so that's one thing. I should have done, but didn't, and you should do. Er, uh, next thing. Er, er, I put a bag between myself and the wall of the plane, or if there's another person next to me, I'll put it there so I don't punch them. I'm lucky enough that my sister always sits to the right of me and doesn't care if I punch her. <laughs> so that's, that, that's, that's, some, but a lot of you will be next to a total stranger, and that's not ideal. Er, er, so if you notice you are developing into a tick attack, er, er, what happened is we called over a flight attendant, er, and they took us to a medical area, and this plane was the front seat. She sort of strapped me in tight to somewhere, like they got cross seatbelts. 
better <laughs> and I felt like that helped a little bit took me away from the people so that both helped my stress <laughs> and I'm sure the stress of the people around me what what else? Why is my nose itchy? <laughs> brain is a brain. <laughs> so yeah. If you have tick attack medication, take it with you everywhere. <laughs> Just do that. <laughs> so that's what I did. I had the flight attendant give me my medication and once I had it, it took about a half hour for it to completely kick in and it allowed me to sleep it off the rest of the flight. Now, when the flight attendant bring you back, it's important that one, you stay calm and you assure her that she should stay calm, or he, if it's a male flight attendant. They're, they're mostly female, just realized that. That's another subject, though. <laughs> uh, yeah. So. Yeah. Comes a big thing. Now you might the tick attacks can last anywhere from like ten minutes to several hours. Er, er, er. Hello, shut up. <laughs> so uh, uh, sorry, my battery's going out. Er, er. So, it may last the whole flight if you don't have medication. Er, if you can, uh, if, if you do this tick a lot, er, and they have that option, I recommend, here's another thing I didn't do but should have, er, like if it's an overseas flight or at night, I recommend you ask them for a pillow that you could sort of hold against wherever you take on your body so that it's cushioned. Er <laughs> uh, and yeah, it's, er unfortunately it's something you can't escape. You just have to ride it out, er, er but that's, Sort of what I suggest to make it better. Because, unfortunately, ticks aren't something you can stop, obviously. But it's something that er, er, you should have enough control over your surroundings that they aren't making it you know, life impossible. <laughs> I do think it's important to have that calm and positive outlook about. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know where I'm going with this. I didn't write out a script or anything. But that's just all I recommend if you er, are taking a lot on an airplane because it was a very scary situation for me. Er, and I'm sure it was even worse for the flight attendants that didn't even know what to do. Er, er, I was lucky mine took it pretty well, but I don't know if others would. Er, so, yeah. I guess I said all I wanted to say. Er, just sort of wanted to cover the topic.